it's Laura here. Um, I'm just coming at you with a very short, basic, basic Pilates class. So this is a basic beginner's Pilates class. And I'm doing this really specifically for just a new client and a couple new clients that I've had. Um, I don't know if, if anyone has ever had um, those new teachers out there, people in the studio that are just coming in once a week. And I really want um, you to get the most out of your time uh, with me and the time that you spend on the equipment. So this is just some basic stuff that you can do at home. It's typically things that we do in my first two, three sessions with my clients that help build the foundation really necessary to start doing more challenging Pilates work. So what you're gonna need for today is something to squeeze like a ball or a block or even just a rolled up towel or a blanket or something like that. And um, an additional towel or a blanket, I have a blanket here. Um, and these are just props that are helpful, especially if you are just beginning Pilates and you're like, you know, your lower back is tight you're just learning to use your core and things like that. And they just, they will help a lot um, so that you don't, you know, push yourself past uh, your limits. And also they really help with some feedback um, so that your muscles get the right response. Um, so anyway, I'm really grateful to be here with you. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is lie on our back. And you're gonna grab your ball and just put the ball between your knees. And that's gonna help turn on the inner thighs, so the inseams of the thighs. And your feet are gonna be in parallel position. And you've got a nice neutral pelvis. Let's go ahead and find neutral a couple times and just come into the body. So your arms are at your side. And you're gonna inhale through your nose. And as you do, you're gonna feel the breath into your rib cage and your lungs. And you're gonna feel that spreading across your upper back and into your mat and then exhale out your mouth and allow that exhale to really create like a passageway for you to not only connect to your core, to your upper abdominals, to your obliques, but also as a way to release and sort of say to yourself, I'm here, I've designated this time to really focus energetically and mindfully on my body and myself. So we'll do that two more times. Inhale, exhale. One more. And exhale. And this time, friends, start to build that relationship with not only your feet, your inner thighs, but also your core and the breath. So we're connecting breath to very, very subtle movement. And all it is is squeezing the ball. So that's the movement that you're making. The option here also is draw the navel to the spine on the exhalation. Okay, you don't need to do that yet. If you're just a super duper beginner, maybe just find out where your inner thighs are, right? Some of us are like, wait, I haven't used my inner thighs in ever, <laughs> right? So if that's it, take the first two or three breaths just to squeeze the ball and be like, oh, those are my inner thighs. Those are my adductors, right? And then start to fill that exhale with that effort in your core. So let's do that together. Inhale through your nose again, and you're breathing up into your rib cage, really lateral, allowing there to be a lot of spreading across your upper abdominal muscles, across your ribs. And then as you exhale, you're gonna feel the ribs come towards each other. You're gonna squeeze the ball gently between your thighs, and you're gonna pull your navel towards your spine, and you're gonna feel maybe that scooping sensation, okay? And then again, inhaling, And then exhaling, squeezing the ball. Maybe now if you're ready, trying to incorporate some pelvic floor work, trying to draw the ribs in, the lower belly towards the mat and going into the scoop if you're ready. One more inhale as you release some of that tension. Exhale as you squeeze the ball again and you'll feel even your feet, right? You'll feel even your feet on the ground, maybe more grounding into your heels. Let's add on, okay? So second part of this is the curl. So if your neck is sensitive, you're probably not gonna lift your head much, especially 
in the Pilates classes that I teach. If you have any issues with your neck, I always guide people to keep their head down for the most part until their abdominal muscles are strong enough to support a chin to chest position. If you don't have any issues in your neck, then you're gonna continue by coming up into chin to chest with the support of your hands. So you'll interlace your fingers and create a little cradle and put your head, just rest them, your head back into your fingertips with your elbows nice and wide. And you can see that I'm not all the way up here. That's because I, I'm gonna work to come up, right? So I'm just coming up a little bit and I'm lengthening the back of my neck. So what this is called is a little cervical nod. The chin draws towards the throat and it lengthens and there's not any tension in my neck. My eyes can focus really well on my belly here and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come up for a crunch and we're gonna hold that as a stationary curl for five breaths. Inhale here, exhale as you squeeze the ball. You're gonna curl up to that place where you feel just a little bit of shake, just a little bit of, ooh, a little bit of burn, right? And then you're gonna stay for five breaths. So you're gonna inhale together. How do you say inhale together? And then exhale, I want this to be a community, right? Squeeze the ball and hold the belly to the spine, draw the ribs in and think of the spine towards the mat, yeah? And then do it again. Inhale through your nose as the legs come apart, the knees open a little bit, and then exhale, navel to spine, and then the spine towards the mat. And it's just beautiful, right? And let's go again. Inhale, and you're looking right at your belly. And as you're exhaling, you're squeezing the ball and you're pulling everything down. And your spine, you can, Instead of moving your pelvis, you're noticing your spine melting towards the mat a little bit. Inhale again, and exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. Good, and then you're gonna slowly come all the way down and relax, and you should really feel a little burning sensation if you did that right. Now, all this time, we're activating the pelvic floor muscles to help pull the rectus abdominis down towards the mat. If you've taken Pilates intro with me, then you know that the first thing we do before we curl up is we activate the pelvic floor muscles. And you do that by drawing the tailbone and pubic bone towards each other and squeeze as if you're doing a Kegel exercise. And if you're a male, it's as if you're squeezing your um, urethra and you're drawing, it's almost like you're drawing that energy up. If you were going to the bathroom number one and number two, you'd be holding everything in and pulling it inside of you, okay? I know that's really technical and I, I know you love that visual, but that's the idea. It's not just squeezing, it's squeezing and gently pulling up and inside, okay? So you have that connection before your flexion. Let's try again, this time as a actually added bonus, we're gonna add little pulses at the top. Keep an eye on my belly because I want you to really focus on pulling the belly in with every bit of flexion. So as you curl up, a, a, an issue I see a lot is you're curling up here and I say, okay, curl up, and I see pooch. Do you guys see that little pooch? So that's what happens when you're doing it incorrectly. As you curl up, into flexion, your belly should be drawing towards your spine. You should be getting even more scooped out, and that's coming from the energy of your pelvic floor. If you're a yogi, it's coming from Mola Bandha, attaching to Uddiyana Bandha, those two things coming together. Okay, so let's try it. Inhale here, activate those pelvic floor muscles as you exhale. And then again, inhale into your ribs, lateral breath. You're keeping that core connection, and then as you're exhaling, you're curling up into chin to chest. And then here's where we begin. We inhale, pause here. Exhale, squeeze the ball, pull the belly to the spine and curl up a little higher. You might even do a little shake here. Inhale down a little and exhale, squeeze and curl. Let's go again. Inhale down a little and then exhale, squeeze and curl. You'll see my belly draw down and in. Inhale down a little. Exhale, squeeze and pull everything down and in. One more, down a little. Exhale, squeeze and pull everything down and in. Hold here for three. Really pull in deeply with the pelvic floor for two and all the way down one and then relax. Okay, so that was really short. If you want to repeat, just rewind it a little bit and then do another round of that. Let's go into our next move, which is articulation of the spine. We're going to start that by again acting on our pelvic floor and our lower abdominal muscles. So moving out of neutral pelvis, 
Start to arch your back. Y'all see that arch in my back? This is an anterior tilt of the spine. So I'm gonna move out of neutral, go to an anterior tilt. And then as I exhale, I'm gonna activate my pelvic floor and I'm gonna move my pelvis back into a posterior tilt. From that movement, I'm gonna press my feet down into the floor, keep scooping out my lower belly, press through my feet, squeeze the ball between my knees, and I'm gonna land all the way up in my bridge pose. And then I'm gonna pause at the top for the breath and then allow the exhalation to slowly lower me down one vertebrae at a time. So we'll do a few more of those. Inhale as you arch your back, find the anterior tilt. Exhale as you come into posterior tilt. Ask the abdominal muscles right here. You're asking them to turn on for you. And then tilt the pelvis into posterior tilt. You're moving past neutral to go there. You're going all the way up to your bridge pose. You're squeezing the ball just a little bit. If you have knee issues or this ball bothers your knees in any way, just loop it. Inhale or find a bigger ball, sometimes that helps. Exhale as you roll all the way down. Again, this is deep core work and lower body work. Inhale at the bottom, arch your back. Exhale out your mouth as you tilt back, scoop out, roll all the way up. Big breaths, guys. Inhale up and then exhale. Connecting mind to the breath is a form of meditation. So we actually get a little moving meditation here. Inhale, arch your back. Exhale as you tilt your pelvis back. Scoop and you're lifting the pelvis up now, moving past that posterior tilt, pressing the heels down, coming all the way to the back of the shoulders. Inhale at the top. Exhale as you roll down again, one vertebrae at a time. Starting to feel really good now. One more breath as you inhale, arch. And then exhale as you tilt the pelvis and roll all the way up. And you'll find yourself all the way up in the bridge here. And let's just do eight squeezes on the ball. Here we go. Squeeze in eight, seven, six, five. Keep reaching through your fingertips. Four, three, two, and one. Take a breath in and then exhale. Slowly roll it all the way down. So good, you guys. All right, from here, you're gonna remove the ball and we're just gonna flip onto our bellies and do just a little bit of extension work. So just come all the way down, just flip yourself over like a pancake. And let's find neutral pelvis or even a slight pelvic tilt in this prone position. So this would be like a really big anterior tilt, but it's backwards, right? I'm flipped in the other direction. And this would be like a big posterior tilt, right? It's the other way. I want you to find neutral and then imprint. Okay, neutral imprint, pubic bone down. Bring your heels together and squeeze them together like crazy. Bring your hands wide. So in yoga, the hands are like really narrow and under the shoulders. In Pilates, we can take a little more space because we're gonna be moving back and forth. So first of all, let your forehead rest on the floor. Draw your shoulders away from your ears knit your rib cage and imprint the pubic bone. And then as you inhale, start to lift your head. Gaze just gently an inch or two ahead of you and imagine like there's a marble just directly in front of your nose. And then begin to knock that marble away. And as if the marble were to give you just a direction to go, right? We're just following that finer movement upward, one vertebrae at a time, peeling the spine off of the mat. Exhale as you slowly come down vertebrae by vertebrae. So this is the direct opposite exercise that we just did. Can you kind of see that? The first was the spinal articulation from bridge. Now we're doing the opposite. Relax the shoulders, squeeze the heels together, imprint the pubic bone. Here we go. Inhale to come up. One vertebrae at a time. And then exhale, slowly come all the way down using the backs of your arms just a little bit to do this. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale, slowly come all the way down. One more time. Inhale, find your back bend. And this is our first back bend too, right? Exhale. Now you might not be coming up as high as me. I have a lot of flexion and a lot of movement in my lumbar spine. This is perfectly okay. As long as we're not doing any of this. You guys see this? This isn't what I want, okay? So the neck stays in alignment with the spine. The heart is lifting. The heart is lifting heart is lifting and then all the way down okay slide your hands back and press up to your hands and knees let your knees go right underneath your hips 
And let's just do a few movements here to rotation. So thread the needle. Press your left hand into the floor and then inhale, rotate your spine, open it up to the right. Exhale, thread the right arm through, okay? And then you can use your left hand to gently press the floor away or you can reach that left arm straight up to the sky. It's gonna open up your heart and your lower back. Use your left hand now to push the floor away and rotate in the opposite direction again. Take a deep breath in, twist to the right. And then exhale, thread the needle. Let's add breath to movement. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, press back up. Inhale, rotate to the right. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, press back up. Inhale, rotate to the right. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, press back up. Do one more. Inhale, rotate right. Exhale, thread the needle. Left arm up, inhale. And exhale, back to all fours. Good, just pause there and notice how that really made you feel and how your body's already feeling just more vibrant, right? More vibrant, you can feel the vitality running through. Let's switch sides. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread the needle. Right arm reaches up to the sky as you inhale. And then exhale, press the floor away. Keep going, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, right arm up. And exhale, press the floor away. Keep going, inhale. And exhale, exhale out your mouth. Inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale to all fours. Oh my gosh, that was literally exactly what I needed to do. <laughs> it felt so awesome. All right, from here, you're gonna flip yourself uh, around again. So go ahead and sit back on your heels and then take your feet out in front of you. So we've mobilized the spine, we've done articulation, and we've done rotation, and we've done extension. So one of the really wonderful things about Pilates is that you really get to move the spine in all planes of movement, and um, that's what really helps to keep the spine really healthy, which is great for, again, vitality, and um, just to keep that, you know, spine healthy and youthful. Um, we're gonna grab the ball again and put it between the knees. And then I'm just gonna pretend like I've never done Pilates before or I have a really bad lower back and modify. You can always, um, you can always uh, make this more challenging by not using a blanket. But I'm gonna go ahead and use a blanket and I'm gonna fold it up pretty high. You can see that it's probably about an inch thick. Um, and I like my blankets to be really even. <laughs> I'm kind of picky like that. And then it's gonna come right behind my lower back. So I'm not sitting on it, but it's really close to where my bum is. Okay, and then my feet are flat and I'm squeezing the ball to help activate my inner thighs again and my pelvic floor again. So back to the beginning. I want you to try to find that neutral pelvis. So you're gonna go forward and here's your anterior tilt, right? You go forward tilt, your big arch in your back and then you're gonna squeeze the ball, pull the belly to the spine, and then you're gonna find your posterior tilt. You see how that's your posterior tilt? Your tailbone's going under. This is just like your bridge, except now we're seated. I'm scooping up my belly. We've learned how to go back here and actually go into a Pilates scoop. That was one of the first things we did, right? So again, hands can come under the hamstring muscles to come all the way up and finding the length in the spine. We're not gonna go to anterior tilt again. That's the last time we're gonna do that. We're gonna find neutral. So from neutral to posterior. All right, here we go. Take a breath in together, inhale. And then exhale out your mouth. You're gonna squeeze the ball. And then again, tilt the pelvis. Just find that posterior tilt. Pull the belly to the spine. You'll notice the feedback you receive from the edge of the blanket. That's good. You wanna feel the edge of the blanket there. Be aware of that. Take a breath in, hold and then exhale, curl forward. Curl forward, and as you inhale, lengthen the spine. So come right back to the beginning, stack your head, right? Stack your head over your neck, over your shoulders, and over your hips. Breathe in here, exhale again, squeeze the ball, and find that posterior tilt, that backward tilt. Pull the belly to the spine, let the lower back, right? The lower back just grazes the blanket or your towel there, inhale and then exhale, curling forward, squeezing the ball. Just gently, if you feel your inner thighs or your hip flexors like way too much in this pose, 
then lose the ball and just do this without anything between your knees, okay? So hip flexors or knees hurting, take the ball away. Okay, so adding on. Now, if you're a little more advanced, please let go of your legs and reach your arms forward. Inhale here, exhale, same thing, pelvic tilt, and you're squeezing that ball, you're looking, you know, you're looking for that blanket, you're gonna find your imprint, little imprint there, you're going past a posterior tilt, a little bit further now, inhale, and then exhale, curling forward, and then inhale to grow taller, yeah? Let's keep going. Inhale here, exhale, rolling back in five, four, go a little further, three, keep pulling the belly in, two, inhale through your nose and really open the ribs, and then exhale as you curl forward. Inhale as you lift up and lengthen. Exhale out your mouth, roll it back. Good, finding the last maybe two or three vertebrae of the spine imprinting into your blanket or your towel. Inhale, exhale, curl forward. Inhale to lengthen all the way through the crown of the head. Exhale, we can add in just a little bit of upper body here. Inhale, exhale, curl forward, curl, curl, curl. And this is it, all you're gonna do is Lift the arms up, not all the way back, but up enough that you feel a heart opener. So can you get to this place of uh, extension, right? In this position, it's challenging. Take a breath in, and then from your pelvis, again, posteriorly tilt your pelvis as your arms come back down, and you look for that blanket. Inhale, exhale as you curl forward. Inhale, extend. Extension, exhale, flexion, all the way down. Inhale, exhale as you curl forward. We're gonna do two more. Inhale, the arms go up, the heart goes up. Exhale, tilt the pelvis, roll it back. One more, inhale, and then exhale, curl forward. Inhale, oh, lift up and lengthen. And then this time we're heading all the way down to the mat. So you're gonna reach your arms forward, tilt the pelvis, and roll down. You might remove the blanket, you might use your hands. <laughs> to use the strength in your core, but also a little bit of support as you come all the way down to your mat. Boy, does that feel good, right? Okay, one more really super basic exercise to help you feel good in your mind, your body, and spirit. So let's do a twist. Take your right knee across the left knee, and this is just to mobilize the hips. Sometimes I do this the very beginning of my sessions with my clients, if their hips, especially if their hips are really tight, just from sitting like crazy all day or anything like that. Um, a lot of my clients are sitting more than they've ever sat before in their life because they're having to work from home and there's just less movement in their lives. So their hips are super duper tight. When your hips are really tight, it's hard to connect to your core. It really is because those muscles are really close together and they just get really confused. So this is a great way to end your little class or begin your class. So your arms are gonna be at your side, your knee is crossed over, it's so good for lower back and hip sensation, hip tension. So first thing is inhale through the nose as the knees rock to the right. And again, breath to movement, exhale, bring the knees back to center. Again, inhale to the right. And this is more Feldenkrais, uh, Moshe Feldenkrais, so physical therapist, this is his Work here, inhale to the right. And I learned it from my teacher, Patrick O'Brien. One more, inhale to the right, and then exhale center. And we're gonna say, keep the legs crossed, but we're gonna take them to the left. And if you want to do more, you can actually even turn your head and look over your right shoulder, and then exhale, everything comes back to center. Again, knees to the left, gaze over the right shoulder, and exhale, everything comes back to center. Inhale, knees to the left, look to the right. Exhale, back to center. And we'll do one more. This time, let the knees stay. So this is the one we hold. So the knees stay, the head turns. You're gonna sweep your right arm back and grab a hold of the edge of your mat or even the outer edge of your mat, like you can reach it all the way back. And you can use your left hand to gently press and give yourself more space across the right side of your body. And then slide your right arm just beside you, and as you exhale, your knees back to center. And we'll switch sides. Left leg over the right leg, nice and easy. 
Take the knees to the left, so you're opening across the pelvis. Exhale out your mouth as your knees come back to center. Inhale to the left, and exhale center. Inhale left, and exhale center. One more, inhale to the left, and exhale center. Take the knees across the body, over to the right, inhale. And exhale center. Inhale to the right, exhale center. Inhale right, exhale center. One more, inhale to the right, and exhale. Ooh, I forgot, stay. Right? <laughs> to the right and stay. And then stay there and you can reach your left arm back now. And so the whole left side of the body is getting a really, really deep stretch. You can use your right hand and push, right? So you're just gently pushing the thigh away. Again, you don't have to do any of that, okay? You can just stay. I'm just always sort of hands-on and looking for a way for me to, to feel my body and what it needs. So you can play around with that too. All right, release your left arm to your side. Sweep your knees back to center as you exhale, uncross your knees, and then just pull them into your chest and give them a hug. And then rock from side to side a few times to massage your lower back. Good. And then if your lower back is sensitive, please roll over to one side to come up. If you don't have any lower back sensitivity, you can play around with rolling yourself up to a seated position, just doing a little roll or a rock. All right, last little bit. You're gonna take yourself into a cross-legged position, bringing one heel in towards the groin and then the opposite leg. If cross-legged does not work for you, you can sit with your legs extended out in front of you or any place that feels good. So right now I have my right leg crossed in front of my left leg, right leg in front of my left leg. So it'll probably be opposite as you're doing this with me. You're gonna take a deep breath in and stretch your arms all the way up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, you're gonna let your left arm come down and side bend over to your left side. Now, you're revolving open. So you're gonna see if you can revolve open and anchor down your right sit bone, that's this one, so that you can reach even more through the right side. Take a full breath in, this is called mermaid. And then exhale, come all the way up rotate to your right and twist little twist little twist and then can you do this can you lift your chest and find a little extension good and then come all the way back to center and switch and cross so a lot of times we do maybe four to six reps i wanted to keep this um video really short for y'all all right from here right fingertips to the side inhale left you can certainly do more <laughs> exhale side bend over to your right really simple movement press with your right hand uh-huh keep both shoulders down anchor down through your left sit bone okay and i might again you're looking at me i'm going to be confusing you just because i'm cueing my side um and i'm mirroring you on the video and i apologize for that i'll do better next time didn't think about that. Good. And then inhale, come all the way up, and exhale, twist over to your left. And bring your hands to the floor, maybe, and lift up. So see if you can find just a little bit of that extension. Good. And then come back to center. And then inhale, sweep your arms all the way up to the sky. And then exhale, you can bend your elbows a little bit into a goal post and see if you can lift your chest and get a little brighter. And then inhale, reach up again, bring your hands together, exhale right in front of your heart center, close your eyes for a moment. Close your eyes and just feel your body, feel your mind, feel your breath. We'll take this just final moment together in gratitude. We're so, so grateful for our body, for our breath, for this opportunity to connect to each other with each other, with one another. We're grateful for all the information that we get from our time together. And we ask that all the benefits of Pilates and movement and mindful movement stay with us. Can we continue to feel flexible and graceful and strong in all moments and all days? Take a deep breath in. Exhale out your mouth. Bow your chin towards your chest and open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's always my pleasure. Again, this is a quick, super duper beginner
Pilates class that you can do a few times a week. Just tack it on in your morning routine. It'll help you feeling uh, youthful and energized, connected to your core. Um, whatever it is that you need, hopefully you'll be able to get out of it. It's always my pleasure. Namaste.